Good morning. Uh, welcome to chapter 29 of Get Wise. Um, for those of this is your first time, uh, we've been working through the book of Proverbs, and we are on the last three chapters. For those that have been tuning in with us every morning um, or throughout the day, uh, you're almost there. We are almost completed um, the entire book of Proverbs, which is exciting. Um, and as we look at today, today's um, it's kind of a, on the final push, uh, but I think it really links back to the beginning. Um, and so before we jump off, I want to start with a fun question. Uh, so uh, to get us thinking about this, uh, when in your life have you had an experience where uh, you relied on something or trusted something and it fell through on you? Um, and specifically, I'm thinking about like chairs. Uh, so maybe a buddy pulled out the chair from underneath you or... Um, I remember in youth, we played this game uh, where one of the guys would get really, really confident and would walk in um, as uh, confident as he could, and then there'd be like three chairs sitting with a blanket on them. Um, and then while the, the student was out of the room or one of your friends were out of the room, you'd pull out the middle one. Um, so that way when they sit down on it, all confident and cocky, um, they fall over to the ground and... Um, and the goal was that they'd be more confident. It's kind of talking about his pride and stuff like that. Uh, but when, when in, a, in your life have you seen um, or faced an example like this where you trusted a chair or something and it fell through on you? Um, so go ahead and pause the video, think about that for a second, and then come back. All right, great. Um, so as we look at this, the reason I'm asking that question is um, today's passage um, or chapter, chapter 29, is really hard to come. Comp- comp- come together with a common theme that we see um, throughout this chapter. And that's a pretty common thing in the book of Proverbs. Uh, if you haven't picked that up, no worries. Um, but there's a lot of times where they're really random advice. So you're like, how do these fit together? Um, what what does talking about a son and a king and um, a dog all have in common? Um, and sometimes it's just these one-off pieces of advice that Solomon's trying to share with us. Um, and so as we look at today's, uh, I think it's really helpful if we go back to the very beginning. Um, so if you remember in chapter 1, verse 7 of Proverbs, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Um, and so we see that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and that fools despise wisdom and instruction. Um, and so really as we look at what does it mean to get wise, um, and what does it mean to have knowledge, it's to fear the Lord and to love Him. Um, and so today's chapter, I think, really wrestles with two key questions. Is, do you trust the Lord uh, so you don't fear other things? Uh, and, do you trust that God is just? That He is a good judge? Um, and so I want you to go ahead and pause this video. And with those questions kind of in mind, I want you to read all of chapter 29. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll kind of talk through a couple of verses and then I'll leave you a couple of questions. Um, so go ahead and read chapter 29 and then come back. All right, so as you read, I hope some verses kind of stuck out to you, um, especially this, around this idea of do we trust the Lord and do we trust that He is just and that He'll provide for us. Um, and so I kind of want to read uh, just a verse I really enjoyed. This was verse 4. Um, and it says, By justice a king builds up the land, but he who exacts gifts tears it down. Um, and gifts can kind of translate actually to ta- um, taxes, um, or taxes heavily even. So by justice a king builds up the land, but he who, who exacts heavy taxes tears it down. Um, I think it's really interesting. Nobody likes tax. Uh, we're kind of in that tax season. Um it never makes me happy uh, with a government when I, when I have to pay my taxes, but it's a part of our nation. Um, and so, but I think it's just re- this really interesting um, that a just king will build up the land versus those that heavily tax, um, people aren't the biggest fan of. So that was verse four. Um, the last two verses I want us to read through is 25 and 26. Let me go ahead and read those. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Many seek the face of a ruler, but it's from the Lord that a man gets his justice. Um, so once again, let me read that. That's chapter 29, verses 25 and 26. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. 
Many seek the face of a ruler, but it's from the Lord that a man gets justice. Um, so something I really loved love about these pa- um, these two verses is one, it wrestles with this idea of man, what we fear causes problems in our life. But if we trust in the Lord in all those things, those things specifically that we fear, then we know the Lord is safe and that he'll provide for us. Um, and then secondly, uh, this idea of seeking the face of a ruler, I think it, throughout life we see some awful things happen, um, awful uh, actions to us, to friends, to family, to nations around the world that our heart breaks for. Um, and so when we seek the face of a ruler, um, a lot of times we're expecting other people to bring justice um, to these hardships. But we see here that it's really, it's the when we trust in the Lord to bring justice, man, then that's when it happens. And He's faithful in that. Um, so two questions that I want you to think through um, is one, do you trust the Lord in the things that you fear? Um, and I'm not just talking about like, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of snakes. Um, I'm all right with them, but especially like rattlesnakes, stuff like that, not my favorite. Um, that's not what I'm talking about here. But what I'm talking about is like fears, like those deep fears that keep you awake at, lo- at, at night. Um, and so something that uh, fear has, in my life has been, uh, as Rachel's pregnant, which is really exciting. Exciting. Rachel's my wife. She's one of the other video people. Um, but she's pregnant. And so in the season of Corona, um, I, there's a nervousness of what does that look like for her? Um, not only just for her, but also for the baby um, that she's carrying. And so um, that's a fear that I, I wrestle with regularly um, that I have to give to the Lord. Because I have to trust that He will take care of Rachel and the baby. Um, and so what are some of those heart fears that you carry that weigh you down so go ahead and pause this video and think about the rhyme down um and a lot of times what it starts with is one of the surface level fears um and then it gets deeper to um more of the heart what keeps you up um, and so if you start shallow but really get down to man what do you fear in life um so go ahead and pause this video and think through that All right, and I think the second question is, do you trust that God is just? Um, and a lot of times we don't see God's justice in, in this time um, in our world where um, it's evident that people are getting what they deserve. Um, but we know that God is just. And so um, I think a question for you is, what are those places where it, where you wish you would have seen justice ahead of time, where it's made you maybe doubt God, or where you desire to see him be just in this world. And so go ahead and pause the video and, and maybe jot some some things down about that. Um, and then we'll come back and kind of talk with you a little bit more. So once again, uh, where are those places um, that you trust that God is just? Or where do you not see that? All right. So kind of to finish up. I think both of these questions are really important. Um, as you can tell, it's trusting the Lord with both providing for our fears, but then also that He's just. And when we when we have those two confidence that He's a just King and He's a providing King, um, then when we step into life, we don't have to fear. Um, yes, the fear is there, but we're able to point that back to the one that can handle it, um, who won't stay up at night worrying about our fear. Um, Because he has it taken care of. Uh, And so what I want you to do now is go ahead and pause this video. Read through 29 one more time. And think through this question of, do you trust the Lord? Specifically in these two ways. In fear, fears, and in in justice. Um, And then finally, kind of as we go back and uh, this is my last video with you. But as we pair this back with chapter 1. Man, are you... A wise person or are you a foolish person? Because a foolish person despises wisdom and instruction. So as we've read through this, have you taken some of these warnings that Solomon have given you um, and the instructions that he's led us in? Um, or are you a fool who's turning away from that um, and wanting to live your own life? Uh, the beautiful thing is we get the choice. Um, but we get to make the, we get to make that decision. Um so let me finish, as this is my last video, by praying for us, and then we will be done 
Um, and then you get Ryan and Rachel over the next couple of days to finish this up. Uh, God, thank you uh, so much uh, for the book of Proverbs. God, thank you for for the season of just reading through it and seeing what it has to say. Um, God, I want to pray for those that are watching this video, um, wherever and whenever this is. Um, God, that they will fear you. Um, God, that they will, at this, as they fear you, that this will lead to knowledge, wisdom. God, that they will follow in your instruction as you walk through and share it in the Bible. Um, and God, that I pray that we will have a trust in you, um, in both that you will provide and in our fears. God, thank you for all that you're doing. God, we're looking forward uh, to once again being able to be together. Um, and so in your name we pray. Amen. So, thank you for tuning in. Um, it has been a lot of fun um, walking through this with you. So, thanks. Uh, have fun with Rachel and Ryan in the next couple of days. Bye.